Hey guys, Chris here. You once again join me with Bjorn. Yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to do yet another range challenge. Today with my Audi e-tron, the Audi e-tron 55 versus... The brand spanking new uh, Kia e-Niro. This is the upgraded version with tow hitch option, faster onboard charger and bigger entertainment screen and app support. Okay, okay. Doesn't matter in this race, but... <laughs> <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen Bjorn before, I don't know what you're doing on YouTube, <laughs> but his he will film his own video. It will be linked in the description down below. So check out his video to see uh, what it's like to, for him to drive the, uh, the uh, e-Niro. Yeah. In Euro. In yeah. Euro. yeah. Uh, just show you that. Oh, Kia Bjorn. Kia Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm wearing this. I'm going to win today. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've done, this is the third challenge we've done. I'll link all the challenges in the description down below. But go to Bjorn's channel, check out this video, and also subscribe to his channel. He does the best EV content on YouTube. Thank I mean, you. this guy is, he, I'm calling from now, I'm not calling you Tesla Bjorn. Or Bjorn Elon, you are now EV King. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna get you a t shirt, EV King. Yeah. <laughs> so um, today we are going from uh, the usual starting point, or your usual starting point. I have a different starting point. Where are we now? Uh, we are at uh, Circle K uh, Food Set. Yeah. Yeah. And where and are we going? We are going to uh, uh, Trondheim, Klett. Yes, a little bit south of Trondheim. And the, 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 the race is that. You will be driving the e-tron. It's obviously a better car, more expensive than the e-niro, but mm -hmm. you will have to take the longer route. Yes. <laughs> I have a penalty for having a better car. <laughs> yeah. And then I will take the, the faster, shorter route, but I charge slower. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think it should be an even race. Yeah. So we're going to Klett and then we're going back again. So this will be a very long race and hopefully or not hopefully we're going to have to edit our videos but not too long yeah um but 988 kilometers we're almost going 1000 kilometers today well, no for you it's 1024 oh for me yeah. it's 950 only oh shit. So, you know it, it might sound like i have the, the advantage here yeah and i might arrive there earlier than you yeah. but then i start charging and yeah. i start charging yeah. and you arrive and you boom you get 100 kilometers I get yeah. 75. Shit. <laughs> okay, that will be very exciting to see because today we have a bit, you can see we're wearing gloves and jackets. It's cold outside in, no, I think it's November. No, it's Halloween actually, it's Halloween today. Happy Halloween. Okay, so guys, we'll see you on the road. Yo, what's up, Bjorn? What's up? Yeah, I'm just drafting behind an e-tron here. <laughs> yeah, so you've been drafting for a maybe 10 minutes now. What is your consumption? It's 226. 226, 310. So a big difference, but not as big difference as we had a bit earlier. Yeah. So we're soon at wow. the point where we're, we're going to split, where you are going to take uh, Österdalen and I'm going Gibraltar. Yeah. So that will be very, very interesting indeed. And I forgot to tell my viewers that um, we are doing typical Bjorn rules. So t maximum of 10% over the speed limit, drafting is allowed and also uh, passing is allowed, right? Yeah, hammering allowed. Yeah. yeah. So that will be very interesting. Uh, we've been on the road for about an hour. I'm going to charge in about one hour in 92 kilometers. Um, according to a better route planner, I should arrive with 42% battery, but I'm not too optimistic because yeah, I have 64% now. What is your percentage? 59. 59. So when we start- oh, sorry, 69. 69 oh. yeah 69 so when we started i had 98 and you had 99 right 
Yeah. Mm hmm. So I've lost four percent to you since you're at sixty-nine and I'm at sixty-four. Hmm. This is yeah, one but, thirsty uh, Etron. Yeah, but uh, I think I have a slight problem, which is that the battery is at seventeen degrees only. Okay. Yeah, that's cold. How cold? Yeah, it, the battery won't be hot enough. Hmm. <laughs> I will charge slow uh, in flat, I think. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I'm stopping at an Ionity charger, a 350 kilowatt charger, meaning I will get maximum charging speed. According to a better route planner, I'm only going to charge for about 18 minutes. Wow. Where are you going to and charge? And also, you're, I have no idea, but I have to charge at 50 kilowatt, most likely. Yeah. Just a bomb, maybe. So you're skipping and the you're... Ionity charger in Elvrum? Yeah, and your e-tron will actually preheat the battery yeah. before you arrive. Yeah. It's that smart. Yeah. So that is very, very interesting. But then maybe I need to uh, use the uh, built-in navigation system, right? And set my destination, do you think? Instead oh, of... you should, you should. Okay, I'll change to that. Thank you for the tip for letting me uh, have a better chance at winning and we now split I'm he I'm heading north on the E6 and you're heading on Riksvai 3 and you still have a, a bit of motorway all the way to Elvrim so uh, we are still having a, a dead race uh, until I get to or you get to Elvrim but I have motorway all the way to Muelv actually a new stretch of motorway so that yeah. will be very exciting so I think uh, I'll talk to you a bit later, Bjorn. So good luck, okay? Yeah, good luck. Have okay. fun. Okay, bye bye. Okay, first charge stop guys. We are now at Ionity here in Eyjur and let's see if we can find this Ionity charger. Um, this is what it looks like. Bjorn and I are about a neck and neck. I think he's a bit ahead of me because this route as we spoke about is a bit longer than the uh, route he's taking. Um, here we have the Ionity chargers and let's hope that we have no problems at all uh, just quickly guys we are now at 31% state of charge um, and yeah so 31% uh, a better route planner was estimating that we were going to be at 42 so we've spent 11% more than uh, what the uh, the a better route planner was uh, saying we were going to spend um, and guys I'm just going to very quickly uh, this won't take too long just set my stopwatch to see how long of a stop we are actually uh, going to have here so okay so let's go ahead and see if we do this one-handed yes we can okay we are now connected uh, and then let's get my card Ionity card okay and then we will just hold it to uh, push it a bit against the car because that should help with the handshake um, damn it red 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 or okay okay it says it's hmm <laughs> the car is showing red but it says it is it is uh, initializing here hmm. so this is the issue that I always have with these Ionity chargers. I mean, more than, uh, more times than, <laughs> yeah, no scheisse. Okay, let's try this again. Disconnect. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, it's, if I was using the app now, guys, I've done the app re many times, but if I was using the the app now, it would reserve 800 kroner for each time I 
failed to uh, it failed to connect or failed to charge. So hopefully, we have this card, so it's not doing anything. It's not reserving any money. Okay, let's try this once again. Okay, and let's try to hold it and push it against the car while handshaking. It's blinking white, 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 white. It should turn green, hopefully. We are crossing our fingers. Yeah, so if you've seen any of my videos before, guys, I've had so many problems with these Ionity chargers. And I actually had a problem with the Polestar 2 I drove to Gothenburg the other day. If you haven't seen that video, link in the description down below. Um, I didn't even show that on video. I mean, that stop was so long and it was really frustrating and annoying. But yeah, nothing is happening happening here. It's still blinking white. And yeah, it shouldn't be like this that I have to push the charge connector to the car while it's trying to initialize. Yeah, I'm just going to let that go. So what is going on here? Yeah, nothing is going on. Hmm. Yes, we are now charging. Fantastic. Okay, we are at 31%. Uh, we should should have been at 42% according to a better route planner, but because of the cold temperatures, the the weather today, um, we have be, have ha high consumption. But um, a better route planner says if we go to 91%, we should arrive at Klet with about 15%. Um, so I think we're going to do that. We're actually going to do that because even though if we spend 11% more like we've done on this route, we will be able to arrive there with 4%. But yeah, uh, and then we will get higher charging speeds. Uh, we're going to have to try to time this as, as well as possible, but then we will have higher charging speeds because we will be at a lower state of charge. So I think that is a better, better strategy, guys. Yo, what's up, Bjorn? So you've been sat stationary for about half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So how long? Uh, house charging in? Uh, where did you stop? Uh, Hanestad. I think this is a very interesting race to see if. <laughs> yeah. It... Because it might just be quicker <laughs> to go Gubernstalen if you have an EV which can uh, accept uh, fast charging, right? 150 kilowatts. It might be quicker to go this way. I'm I'm charging at 47 kilowatt now. What did you get? Uh, uh 150 immediately. <laughs> Holy guacamole! I uh, stopped for 28 minutes in total. Yeah, I've been charging for 40, 34 minutes now. I have 57. I I need only 65 to Ooh. reach cut. Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh. So in in about five minutes I can leave. Five minutes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn, 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 damn. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, good luck. You too, thanks. Bye bye. Bye. So we are at Klet here now. Ah, arrived about 10 minutes after Bjorn. So let's hope we don't have any problems with charging. How long have you been here? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's hope so. Okay, I will not help him. No, Just don't help him. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. No! Red! Damn it! Oh! 
This happened in eight also? Come on. <laughs> okay, no, no, I want to go one more time. Come on, failed, yes. Okay, come on. <gasps> no, this is what this doesn't want to work. Okay, we have to change. Try the other charger. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, let's try again, guys. Yeah, yeah. Nobody cares about my phone still being in the car. Okay, let's try one more time. Okay. What? Oh, come on. Failed? Come on. What? Yeah, what? He meant failed? <laughs> I'll try the other one again. What? You want to try your car? Yeah. Well, it just worked there two seconds ago. Okay, go, go, go. go. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Then you take that one. You uh, time. Yeah, and then we have to hold it while it's initiating the handshake. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so this, is how, uh, this is how we do it with the e tron. I had to do this for like almost 30 seconds at uh, Eyjid, like this. Come on, I think it's working now, so I think I can uh, let it go, because it's... It would already have given me the red light if it wouldn't have worked. Okay. So, this takes forever. I don't know why they're so slow, they're slower than all the other chargers combined. It just extra safety checks yeah uh, sanity checks uh, <laughs> i don't know what it's called uh, the whole uh, separate uh, galvanic uh, shield, uh, yeah whatever galvanic uh, okay okay stuff we have to check because okay. it's high power charger yeah e green come on i heard a click okay green oh. we are charging five percent that's what i said so we are right with five percent five percent yeah this is nice we have now the two charging sessions here oh fantastic i fantastic. arrived with the uh, 17%. 17%? Yeah. Look at the E. Oh, we go to detail. Okay, we are now charging, guys. At... See, if I want to sabotage, I can press stop. Yeah, <laughs> press stop. So we are now charging at, let's see. Uh, I have to change my polarizing filter here. Sorry, guys. So we are now doing 110 kilowatts, one minute of charging. Okay, so we're currently at 13%. I arrived with 5% and I charged up to 92%, meaning that we spent 87%. Um, so, but on the way back, we should have, we had tailwinds on the way here. We have headwinds on the way back. So we should do 92% at least, but maybe I'm, I'm gonna go to 100% just to be safe, to have that safety buffer. And then we can go over to, and then we are now charging at 121 and that speed will pick up. So we will probably peak at 150. But Bjorn actually is getting 75 kilowatts. Bjorn, you're getting full speed. <laughs> I did yo-yo before. Oh, you yo-yoed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is very, very interesting. 41%. So do you think we're going to leave at the same time or? Yeah. Around there. Oh. So we have about 20 minutes, 25 minutes left here. So we better hurry for the food. Shit. <laughs> okay. Hmm. You might win. I'm not sure about that. Oh, Scheiße. Because I can only charge you 73%. Okay, so you have to do, yeah, you can only charge. Two more times. I have yeah. to stop in Arndal. Two more times. Arndal, and I have to take. Uh, two more times? I have to go Arndal, top up a little bit there maybe 10 minutes oh. and then reach Elverum 
and I have to take the detour via Elverum. Okay. Wait six minutes. Okay. So guys, the race is still on. Okay, we're at 80% now. We've had full charging speed from around 20%, which is just crazy, crazy, crazy. 80%, it starts throttling 119, 117, and it will slowly uh, go down to around 50 kilowatts till we get to 100%. But instead of uh, you know stopping one more time, or we have to do one more stop, but we have to have just enough juice to go to uh, back to Ayid where we stopped on the way up. So we're gonna go to 100% just so we have a safety buffer. Bjorn is on his way to leave right now um, because he has to do two more stops. So this is gonna be a very exciting race. The race is most definitely still on. So yeah, I think we're gonna go to 100%. It says 29 minutes, but I ha highly doubt it will take 29 minutes. I think we'll be leaving here in I think 10 minutes, Bjorn. I think I'm just gonna charge for 10 minutes more. I will be almost at 100% and yeah. I have 75%. 82. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, guys, we're at 95%. We are about six and a half minutes behind uh, Bjorn. So I'm gonna unplug now and we're gonna get on the road but I'm just gonna show you guys quickly how fast speeds we still get at 95% 65 kilowatts that is crazy so gonna unplug now and yeah see you guys on the road Yo, Bjorn, what's up? I have a little uh, accident, emergency. No, what happened? Uh, type 3C discharge. What? Uh, I have stomach problems. Oh, shit. So you had um, to stop? I had to stop. I couldn't make it to the gas station. I'm literally shitting by the road right now no way <laughs> it's, it's been ridiculous I'm, I'm shooting by in the ditch right now oh my god <laughs> there's no there is no other way to do it but i always bring tissue yeah good good uh, oh. good call good call oh. Yeah. I'm losing five minutes here, but yeah. it needs to be done. It has to be done. You can't better to do it outside the car than inside the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Shaisa. Oh this uh, this has never happened to me before. This oh. in my entire life. Yeah, I understand. It's it's the nerves of the E V race. The E V battle gets to you. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, but I have to go now. Okay, <laughs> good luck. I'll talk yeah, to you, shit. bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> what the heck? You're an idiot. I don't have an idiot. What the heck? <laughs> Okay guys, we're 5.3 kilometers from the Ionti Charger in Eyjid in four minutes. I'm drafting like a mofo behind this truck here. It started to rain, which isn't good for range. I've turned off the climate control because guys, we have 9% of range left according to the board computer. Yeah, it's we're cutting it really close and I only have 1% battery left with 4.4 kilometers to go. Yeah, 
cutting it really, really close. I thought charging to 95% would give me a buffer, but yeah, no buffer at all. Ah, crazy, crazy, crazy. We barely made it here to the Ionity charger here in a We made it with four kilometers left of range. The battery was at 0%, guys, 0%. We just made it, turning off the AC, or the, the whole HVAC system and, and drafting behind that truck really did do it for us. So, here are my notes guys and according to my notes yeah that's way too bright you can't see that but according to my notes we should charge to 68 percent uh for about 20 minutes so we could arrive in oslo with 11 percent but yeah i'm not charging my notes from a better route planner today because because of cold weather and rainy weather it has been highly inaccurate we have had really high consumption um, I'm just going to turn on the ignition. I'm not keeping on the ignition too much because um, I don't want to want it because it counts the time and the speed when the ignition is on. So I'm just going to quickly just sh find the notes here for how there we have it, the board computer. So 24 and a half kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers has been our consumption today. So really high. I haven't had such high consumption in a long time in in this e-tron or any other e-tron but what is really cool and really interesting is that we will uh bjorn has to stop in elvedum so the race is still on we don't know who's gonna win it's gonna be really 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 close um i'm just gonna check where he is right now on glimpse so he is currently yeah he's not far from elvedum he's not far from elvedum and i think he has to charge maybe 30 or 40 minutes. I think I'm going to charge here for 30, maybe 35 minutes. And I think we're about the same distance from Oslo now. He has a small detour, uh, about six or seven minutes in Elvrim. So yeah, Whew, this is cutting it really close and yeah, really exciting, guys. <laughs> seconds behind 30 seconds so Unbelievable. was i behind you or were you behind me i was behind you 30 seconds <laughs> i won my second race again yes oh, yeah. <laughs> congratulations thank you thank you but in reality this was a dead heat right it was dead even i had nine percent what about you i have seven percent that is super cool i could have left one minute earlier yeah i also could have left a minute earlier but yeah it's super close and i even you know you had your problems with uh your toilet break oh. i had uh got lost by muel yeah. and i even did an extra turn in the roundabout up there because i we've been on the road for 11 hours and 41 minutes which is crazy fast actually yeah i think that is quicker than google maps would tell us in a fossil car wait let me see we left at eight something uh we, yeah we spent how long is this 22 i think we left at like 8 30. We, we spent about 13 hours and 15 minutes with charging 13 hours we were way faster than uh, yeah than yeah runner. yeah 13 hours a little over 13 hours only yeah with oh, yeah <laughs> these two cars yeah that's crazy. That is crazy. So what was your consumption on the... 184. 256. <laughs> 256. This is one thirsty car. 256. Do you know how many kilometers you've done? 
956. 1019. Yeah, that sounds about right. 70 kilometers, 65 kilometers longer. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm knackered, man. I'm so tired now. 13 hours and 15 minutes, you said, on the road? Are you tired? Yeah. You see the difference between you and me? <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm driving to Yale and back again. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> This guy is crazy. You understand why I call him the EV King. So guys, <laughs> if you aren't subscribed to Bjorn's channel and go ahead, click the link to his version of this video in the description down below. So check his video out, give him a thumbs up and subscribe to his channel because this guy does the best content on YouTube when it comes to EV. So guys, you're, you're getting very good too. <laughs> I'm learning from the best. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.